Our story video for this week comes from Feasting on the Word, Children's Sermons for Year B, written by Carol A. Werheim. A special task for a simple woman. From Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. Long, long after Isaiah gave good news and hope to the Israelites, but before John the Baptizer called people to get ready for the one God would send, God sent Gabriel, a messenger of God, an angel, to get the mother of Jesus ready. Mary was a poor young woman who lived in the village Nazareth. She was engaged to Joseph, a carpenter. She probably expected to live in Nazareth all her life and to raise her children there, close to her family and Joseph's family. Her life wasn't as quiet as she thought it was going to be. Before she and Joseph were married, Mary was tending to her daily chores. Maybe she was grinding grain to bake bread or weeding the garden, but it probably wasn't anything special. Then, out of the nowhere, the angel Gabriel, a messenger from God, appeared right in front of her. Good news, Mary! God has chosen you, said Gabriel. Mary looked at this person she had never seen in Nazareth. Who was he? What did he want? Where did he come from? What was going on? Mary, don't be afraid, he continued. God has a special plan for you. You will have a baby boy, and you will name your baby Jesus. That didn't help Mary very much. She was still confused, but Gabriel wasn't finished. Your son will be great. He will be called Son of the Most High. One day he will sit on the throne of David. He will rule forever. Mary was astonished at these words. When she was finally able to speak, she said, How can this happen? Joseph and I have not married. Gabriel had an answer. Your cousin Elizabeth is too old to have a baby. But she and Zechariah will also have a son in three months. The Holy Spirit will come over you. God can do anything, anything. Nothing is impossible for God. Hearing all this, Mary said, I am God's servant. I will have this baby boy, and I will name him Jesus. As soon as she said this, Gabriel left just as quickly as he had come. Hear this, Mary received good news from God's messenger Gabriel. What does good news sound like to you? See this, there were a lot of emotions in the story. What do you think Mary and Gabriel's faces looked like throughout the story? Act this out, God called Mary to be God's servant. Find ways that you can be a servant of God by loving all, showing kindness, and spreading joy. Let's pray. Surprising God, may we follow Mary's example and listen carefully for all that you want us to do. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.